Hey Taurus, welcome back to the channel guys. This is our weekly conversation with your person. Y'all know it's an open conversation, whatever they want to talk about. Whatever the cards bring out, that's what we'll talk about. See what they're focused on. We're going to use uh, Love Situations by Maruk X. We're going to talk with the Steampunk. And then our conversation part is our soulmates, lovers, twin flames. Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. I got both sides of the deck in here. Uh, that's the active and the passive energy. Let's jump in. Let's see whose energy is the strongest for my Taurus this week. And here goes the song and dance again, y'all. Y'all know all my readings are meant to bring you confirmations of the things you already intuitively and instinctively know about your person. If it doesn't happen with this reading, you can check out your other sign positions. I also do the extra wild card reading. You can check that one out. Let's see if I picked up the energy there. Let's jump in. Let's see what your person is focused on. This is for my Taurus, their person. Get that one more time. Let's see what's going on in their brains when it comes to my Taurus. What's going on? Talk to us. Ooh, pop. Right here. We've got paralyzed. Paralyzed by love. Holding back fear of falling in love. Somebody that is paralyzed in fear right now. Ooh. What else? What else? Bring it out for us. Taurus is person. What else? Ooh, pop. Dang. That one jumped out. Jealousy. Won't, won't you to themselves attachment. Fear of losing you. Oh, guys. Fear of falling in love. Mm, paralyzed by fear, jealousy. And we've got divorce, alimony. Mm. Terminating a marriage. Separation will be costly. Complicated relationship. Complicated. There's one more hanging out. Let's see what comes with it. Protection. Don't want to hurt you. Protecting connection. Protective over you. That's coming with that divorce. So somebody is getting out of a bad connection. They want to protect you from any of their drama baggage stuff from that connection. If You know, having an effect on you. Hold the energy on this deck. It's for my Taurus. Uh, they definitely, they don't want to lose you, but at the same time, what's causing their fear of, you know, fall, you know, getting into a serious connection with you is they're worried about how their baggage, the stuff from their past, it will, would, what kind of effect does it have on you? Mm, let's get them talking. It's for my Taurus. For my Taurus. Mm. Talk to us. Let's come in on that uh, fear. Oh, that one don't want to let go of me, y'all. Uh, four pentacles. Four pentacles brings in the tight grip, the possessiveness, the jealousy of I don't want to lose. I don't like to call it, you know, the possessive, but it is. It's a tight grip. It's where you're holding, wanting to hold tight to what you feel like is your treasure. Mm hmm. What else? Oh, pop. Getting two. Hang on, guys. Let's pull them all out here. We're not reading upside down, y'all. Mm -mm. We've got definitely got someone having anxiety. Mm -hmm. The Five of Pentacles is a lack mentality. This is showing uh, the, the alimony that really popped off. Somebody, it may be costing them, costing them on a tangible level uh, to get out of this connection because they're in a hard spot. They're in a crossroad. This is... Uh, Two of Swords energy is about juggling, balancing something, but it's also you coming out of your comfort zone. Uh, it, on an emotional level, guys, your heart, your mind is in a constant conflict and tug of war. Mm -hmm. We've got uh, somebody that is definitely feeling stuck right now. Mm -hmm. Hangman. Trying to see things in a different perspective, but this isn't the sacrifices and feeling stuck. A lot of frustration. And then we got our protection card. The Seven of Wands is a card of valor, courage, block, protect the things that is precious to you. So somebody is definitely a little bit paralyzed. They feel stuck in their circumstances. Um, they, they, money's tight. 
Money's tight, and they're worried about how that will affect your connection if they get into something serious with you. Let's get on over here to focus in on the jealousy, <laughs> the attachment, fear of losing you. Talk to us. Taurus is person. Oh. We've got Hermit Virgo introspection. Virgo, the house of Virgo brings in, it's showing me there's been changes that has happened to this person in their daily life routines has changed. They're a little bit off balance. Uh, the fact that we picked up some two energies. Um, having to learn how to create new habits and routines for themselves on a daily basis. On an emotional level, they're feeling very alone. Disconnected and alone right now. And introspection, uh, let's put it this way. What what their brain is telling them is don't drag someone else into this. You, do, you know, you don't want to hurt the person you love with your crap. So it might have them, you know, at, in that tug of war, that two of swords energy of they want us, but they push us away at the same time. We've got a three of wands. There's an opportunity to move forward, but we're not moving forward yet. Hmm. That's our young empress energy of um, where things feel, you know, our empress, she will amplify. She brings to life whatever she, you know, comes to contact with. She's a glow up, grow energy. Uh, this person, like I said, they're standing, what, what seems to be growing for them is the light. There's opportunity for them to step into something serious with you, but they're holding herself back because they're overthinking everything. They're getting very pessimistic about looking to the future. Uh, a lot of times we're standing there going, is this ship coming in for me or is it leaving without me? This person's in that mental uh struggle of you know yeah i could get into the connection but eventually it's going all the crap i'm bringing into it is going to eventually cause me to lose to lose you see what else was coming out here their past card of nostalgia six of cups mm, yeah so their past is what's holding them back right now and that they're they're the negative monkey brain fear chatter is got them at standstill in the connection a new love, new love versus that, um, the past. And it, like I said, it has to do with blessings. Uh, their past, can they really bring a blessing into our life when they've got a lot of drama right now? Let's get them over here and uh, talk on that divorce and that protection, wanting to protect you from their crap. Pop. We've got Ace of Wands, Motivation, Passion, Inspiration, The Spark, mm -hmm. Queen of My Heart, Can't, oh my God, Taurus, y'all know if you've followed my channel anytime when my guides want to tell me this is a good connection, that the person is thinking this is the perfect, this is my person, this is my soulmate, my twin flame, this is the one, it, they'll pull out a Taurus Cancer energy for me, I don't know why. <laughs> but it clicks quick for me that this person really feels like you're the one the fire the motivation the passion they're very passionate about their feelings towards you and uh doubt about are you the one for them there's no doubt there's no doubt whatsoever but their circumstances is creating a lot of havoc for them in their mind we've got the full card things feel risky but this person really wants to take that leap of faith with us and that jump with us and then we got our emperor but there's a ruling factor we got our emperor showing up Ah, oh, let's see he's he rules over things that's the divine masculine aries energy the ruling factor is what's holding this person back in that um three of one's energy and that young empress energy that passive energy of i don't know what to do yet uh, i don't know if i should just it leaving without me is it coming in for me um this is what's rolling over every issue they're having on a mental emotional level right now in this connection 
So yeah, he's that hardcore ruling. Trying to stay logical. Don't don't follow your heart. Follow your logic. Cause down the road, what's going to happen when you bring in all of these issues with someone else that you really feel like is your person, the perfect person. Um, they just don't want to get hurt, and they don't want to hurt you. Bottom of the deck, we've got a two of cups energy. Hmm. Compromises and sacrifices that we make to when we're in a committed relationship. It's the sister card to the lover's card. For me, the lover's card represents you making a definite choice to commit to something. This is our maintenance card. It's where we uh, do that give and take, the equal exchange of energy that keeps a balance in the committed relationship. This person is worried about the compromises and sacrifices you might have to make in the future and are you willing to make those? We got a Ten of Wands. It's a big burden on them right now. They feel like they're carrying a burden and Judgment card. They're trying, they, this is newness. It's a Harvest card. They're reaping the rewards of their past, but it's also providing them opportunity to reinvent their self and to move forward in their situations. And they're definitely feeling off balance. We've got a two of pentacles learning how to balance. And the fact, like I said, Virgo popped for me on that hermit card. They are daily trying to figure out new routines, new way of thinking, new way of existing and being. And they feel overwhelmed right now with a seven of cups energy. Um, it's hard for them to make a choice. Their brain is going to tell them, if I choose this cup over here, this will happen. So I can't choose that. I can't do that. But if I choose this one, this will, this will happen. And it's always a negative thing. It's your monkey brain chatter chiming in to get you stuck and not, not moving forward. Mm -hmm. Six of swords leaving the past behind. They're overwhelmed when it comes to leaving the past behind. That's a, a rite of passage to transition away from a dark stormy past into a new horizon where you see the sun coming up into your happiness. So this person is overwhelmed right now. Uh, they won't. They got definitely... Uh, desires to commit to you they know that without a doubt they will know you are the one but what stops them is their concerns of how their past stuff is going to uh, affect you your connection will it lead to them losing you down the road mm. let's get them talking this is for my Taurus this person let's come in on that paralyzed paralyzed talk to his pop i don't know what to do so i do nothing there's our seven of cups energy mm -hmm. don't know what to do so i do nothing healing and overcoming wounds takes courage i'm healing in this silence are you Ooh. what else stood up here i started to feel safe with you even enough to let my guard down y'all forgive my dyslexia <laughs> I started to feel safe with you, even let my guard down a little. Your coldness hurts so much. Your coldness, your coldness. Mm. Now, that might be, I'll be in their head, uh, them picking up signals of you getting frustrated with them. Mm -hmm. I don't want to miss, miss you. I prefer to think of us as one, even if you aren't present in my physical world right now. There we go. Yes. With that cancer queen of my heart energy. Ow. Oh, pop. Are you going to reject me? Are you mad? Oh, Taurus. Okay, let's move them over to the center here where they're feeling alone, disconnected from you. They could be in a crowd. They could be with their family, their friends and stuff. And because you're, if you're in a physical difference, a physical distance, guys, sorry, they're going to feel alone regardless because you're the one. <laughs> you're the one for them. I can't wait for you to get it. I have to keep moving forward. If you don't come back, no, there will always be a special place in my heart for you and what for and for what might have been. Oh, they already just yeah, their brain's working on them. They already foreseeing losing you. Who pop? I have deep and unresolved wounds. You can't fix them. I must do it. 
I'm just not sure exactly how. how yeah, how do I get rid of this issue from the past? I do have fantasies about you. Maybe they are better left in that space. Oh, don't give up hope yet. Y'all y'all hear I'm giving up hope here. I know who you are to me. Absolutely. I recognize and acknowledge the the connection. I just can't do this right now. Two more standing. I wasn't expecting this connection when it showed up, even though I knew what it was right away. I wasn't ready. No one hasn't made it easier. I must trust in divine timing. Ow. This is what I was saying. This person has no doubt whatsoever about you and their feelings towards you. They There's something clicking in them going, you're the one. But I'm coming in with so much baggage. I do miss you. Aww. Toys. Let's get them over here talking on that <laughs> ruling factor of, yeah, they don't want their crap to have an effect on you in any way. Pop. I wasn't looking for it for anything like this but i surrendered to it rather than run i wanted to run but i didn't i have options and opportunities but i still don't want anyone else no one else is you yeah i dream of you is there anything else before we move on yes there is you made me feel something. This was confusing. Ooh. And. I'm aware I sabotaged our connection. This is old patterns and defenses. I think of you often and I can still feel you. Oh, Taurus, guys. Mm. Hold the energy on the deck. Let's go back to the tarot. Let's find out. I feel foolish for even asking, but I was closing off all the readings with getting your person to answer the question of their true desire towards you. I feel foolish because we already know their true desire. I mean, this person is really struggling within their self. Hmm, but we're going to ask anyway. True desires. True desires for my, towards my Taurus, please. What are your true desires? Top. King of Cups energy, Scorpio energy, emotional maturity, but also the vision of the future. Mm. King of Wands energy, Leo, they want to pounce on you. Yes, they do. They are motivated and inspired. We've got a lot of divine masculine energy. That's not gender, y'all. That's energy coming at us, active desires and uh, yearnings for us. Then we have the World card. Ooh, the world card is to tie up loose ends uh, with this past thing and to move forward mm -hmm, a successful, let's tie this up in a good way. Yeah, what else? Mm, they want, they really want to come at us strong and fast with that eight of wands. Eight of wands is about signals, body language. Um, what am I hearing? We've got an intuitive connection. They feel like they can feel your energy almost hear your thoughts even when you're at a distance from each other but this person really is getting frustrated because they want this issue to be tied up quicker put it into it quicker so they can move into their heaven and earth bliss with you yes yes this is a success card a lot of times we don't get to the ten of cups y'all know that until you have went through hell to get to it that's what makes it heaven on earth it makes it so sweet once you get there so this person is most definitely their desires is very active towards us their yearnings very active towards us and they are motivated and on fire to bring closure to this uh, past situation uh, but they are frustrated they want things to go a lot quicker than what, what they're going for them right now. Because they want that heaven on earth. Let's go ahead and get them to focus in on the deck. They want to give you a final and closing message from... This is my Taurus, this person. Final message, please. Oh, God. Okay. Is every, I think... Mm, I'm not sure I think everybody is picking <laughs> big guns. It's the light side of the deck. Conversation with counterparts. We'll take it. Just throw some love at us, guys. Yes. 
talk to us. Closing my... Oh, pop, pop. I believe in happily ever after because of you. Ooh, the Ten of Cups. I believe it's possible for me now. My romantic feelings are growing for you. Yeah, big time. With the fire and the heart. Mm. Oh, logic goes out the window. I love you so much it scares me. Taurus. Mm. Have that effect on people. Your love is intoxicating. Want to get drunk on you. Mm. The light in me sees the light in you. Mm. Ooh, what did I just hear? You can do no wrong in my eyes. Mm. You're perfect. This love overwhelms me. Mm -hmm. Allow this love to unfold perfectly. Mm -hmm. I've been so hurt in the past. Mm. Last one, guys. We are on time. Woo, divine time and we are on time. Taurus, that's all I have for us. I'm sending you love and light. Many, many blessings as always. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope I see you again next time. Bless be.